Dragon 10 Compound Bow Review. You asked for it, today I'm going to deliver. This is the new Dragon 10 Compound Bow, and this is going to be on the medium size cam. So the peak draw length is 30 inches. In the past, I've only had the, the large cam. So today we're going to unbox, put together, and do a full review on the medium cam. So in the box you have your owner's manual. Oh man, who's that good looking guy? Wait a second, that's me. Okay, then you got your bow. There's the rest. Quiver. Sight. Sight bracket. Is a mounting bracket for the quiver. Let's put it all together. Oh wait, here's your uh, stabilizer, some uh, tools and screws and things like that. Let's put it all together. All right, here is my rest. So I'm going to need the bolt to put the rest on. And I'll need a okay, it's Allen rest. So it's going to be. You got your tools here, and then there's these little containers here. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's our rest pieces. So there is a screw, if you want to put it in the um, limb driver, the limb activated mode, you have to take it all apart. I did a video on that already, which I will try to link. If I remember, I will link that in the description section. But you need to swap out the spring inside the rest in order to have it in that. Otherwise, it's going to be cable driven. So put your washer through, and screw this on here, okay for this little knuckle if you're going to use this for the drop away rest you want to install it right around the bottom of the grip and you're going to put it on the down traveling cable so it's going to be basically the cable closest to the grip right here okay next we're going to mount the uh, sight bracket Let me actually leave that on I'm going to need my sight screws which I imagine are in here yes Now you can go either set, this set or this set, but one thing you want to actually, you know what, let me reverse it. The way they have it, I want to have my, these screws are for the quiver, so I want to put the quiver right there. And so I'm going to have the knob facing down. Probably want to put Loctite on these. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to have to take it all apart so I can ship this bow out and use it for a giveaway. Now this is going to um, slide in here. Probably have to take the uh, sight off, I mean the sight light off. Slide it through and then tighten it down here. Okay, stabilizer screws on the front, quiver bracket is going to mount right here, and you want to make sure that the vertical trough is facing up. And then the quiver slides in like this. And there we go. All right, so here's your fully assembled Dragon 10 compound bow. We've got the drop away rest. We've got the sight, quiver, stabilizer. Let's go ahead and set up the chronograph, shoot it through chronograph at each draw length. 
I'm going to go in one inch increments and I'm also going to try to do a draw force curve for you. Let's get it going on. Okay, I'm going to do two shots through the chronograph. First shot will be with a 350 grain arrow. And then my second shot is going to be with the Dragon 10 arrow, full length as it comes with the uh, bushing and small knock and all that. So I just weighed the Dragon 10 uh, arrow with the 100 grain tip installed. It came in at 392 grains. So right now the bow is set at 30 inch draw length and the peak weight rang in just around 69 pounds. So let's see. Three hundred and thirty feet per second with the three hundred and fifty grain arrow. Three hundred feet per second with the three hundred ninety two grain arrow. Okay, I just went from thirty inch draw to twenty nine inch draw. The way that you adjust the draw length is there is two screws here. So there's two screws here. You adjust and go from number one setting to number three. And the numbers are listed on the module here. And there's a little peg that comes out of the can. You just slide it through on number three, the peg. You'll do that on both sides and then you'll move the draw stop peg here to the number three for 29 inch draw. There's a little bit of a glare, but hopefully you can see the numbers along there. So now we're at 29 inch draw length. I'm going to shoot the same two arrows. And it is a little tough for me to draw 70 pounds. I shoot at about 63 pounds generally. And going from 63 to 70 is a jump. Also, I will say the Dragon 10 compound bow draw curve, you know, the draw cycle is a bit radical compared to the Dragon X8 and the Dragon X9. If you've shot either of those bows, this is a very different feel bow. So let me go ahead and shoot it at 29 inch draw length. 320 feet per second. So an exact 10 feet per second drop for one inch shorter. And that is pretty standard for a lot of the bows I've tested over the years. 392 green arrow, the Dragon 10 arrow, full length. So let's go ahead and check it at the next draw length down, 28 inch. I'll also mention it does come with a peep sight installed, one that you can adjust up and down. And I've just left the quiver off for the shooting process because I'm going on and off the draw board to... Um, adjust or excuse me to make the draw force curve on the draw board so um, just to make it more efficient so let's go ahead drop it to 28 inch draw and see what it does okay this is the 28 inch draw length setting my peak weight was right at 69 right around there 68 or 69 313 feet per second. Seven feet per second slower than at 29 inch draw. 289 feet per second. Okay, last but not least, we're going to do 27 inch draw length. Peak weight came in at just around 69 again, just like a hair under that. So we have 304 feet per second. And then the Dragon 10 arrow. Two eighty feet per second. All right, so here is the Dragon 10. I am going to take this back apart and box it back up because this bow is probably going to be a giveaway 
I'm thinking in November on my channel. If you are not following my channel, maybe you should do that. Uh, but go to my website. There's a giveaways page. Uh, stay in touch. I will send out a newsletter when it's time to register for the next giveaway. But let's go over this bow, uh, going over the data here. So I have it up on my computer. The um, computer's right here. So the price of the Dragon 10 ready to hunt kit like you have, like you see here, is $699.99. So basically $700. Um, my speed, just hitting it again, going over it again, 350 grain arrow was 330 feet per second for the 30 inch draw length. And at the 392 grain arrow, the speed was 300 feet per second. Here's your draw force curve. Then looking at the Dragon 10 at the 29 inch draw length setting, we hit 320 feet per second with the 350 grain arrow and 293 feet per second with the Dragon 10 um, at 29 inch draws. And then at the 28 inch draw length setting for the 350 grain arrow, we hit 313 feet per second 392 grain arrow was 289 feet per second. And then at the 27 inch draw length setting, we hit 304 feet per second with the 350 grain arrow and 280 feet per second for the 392 grain arrow. So even at your 27 inch draw length setting, you're still at 300 feet per second, excuse me, 304 feet per second. So you're over 300 feet per second with a 350 grain arrow, which is pretty good. And um, it is a little bit of a radical draw curve. I'm not used to pulling that amount of weight either. So I was a little clunky pulling it back. But just so you know, it's not a real smooth draw cycle like you have, like I mentioned before, with the Dragon X8 and Dragon X9. So those of you who are looking at this and saying, oh, I've had the Dragon X8. I love it. I'm going to upgrade. Just so you know, it's a completely different feel, completely different bow. Um, so it is your their flagship bow is a lot of nice components um, You have the drop away rest and it can go from the cable driven to the limb driven Which is a very nice option. I do have a video on swapping out the spring It's not necessarily easy swapping it out, but it's manageable. The site is a very nice site um, the one thing that I would like to see them do with the site is, um, as of right now, the fiber optics are all enclosed. So you must use the site light in order to be able to use the site, even outdoors. So um, as of right now, I really strongly recommended to them that they modify that so that you don't have to have the light working. One of the drawbacks there is if the light is left on accidentally or gets bumped on, and then you're in a situation where you absolutely need the light, but your battery's died without you knowing it, you're kind of in a tough spot. Aside from that, this is a really, really cool um, sight. You have a micro adjust here for your windage left to right. You can adjust up and down. So you can set your pins. And let's say you set your bottom pin for 40 yards, 20, 30, 40. Well, then you could go out to, you know, pretty far, maybe even 100 yards, depending on how it's set up, you know, you can adjust this up and down um, right on the fly to be able to shoot at farther distances. There is a level in the site. So a lot of pretty nice features to the, the site. There is um, micro adjusting for your level. And also it is a dovetail. So you can adjust how far out away from you, you would want to put it. Um, like I said, everything about this site is pretty incredible, except that one detail with the fiber optics. That, to me, is a deal breaker for the site. If it wasn't for that, um, I would be super, super excited. Um, so hopefully they'll make an adjustment to that for hunters in the United States. But folks, there you have it. This is the Dragon 10 Compound Bow Ready to Hunt Package. And... Um, Stay tuned to my channel. Maybe you'll be the winner of this bow when I give it away. Until then, take care and God bless.